Hello, and thank you for joining me today. We're going to be looking at the equals sum if formula function for use in spreadsheets. This is the first of a series of videos for the sum if function. So this is going through the first parts of the basics. If you're not too familiar with a sum if, this is the video that you need to start with. Okay, so let's have a look at our scenario. Okay, so let's take a look at this spreadsheet. And first, let's understand what this spreadsheet is showing us, just so we understand how to use the sum if function. Now, the sum if functions allows us to look at this data and extract only information that we want to see uh, and condense it. So let's first look at this spreadsheet. We have sales for 2023 for the different types of consoles. Now, the first salesperson, John, he's been selling PlayStation 4s. And so far this year, he has sold 82. We have Jennifer. She's been selling PlayStation 5s and has so far sold 26 of them this year. Now, if I wanted to say I would like to know how many PlayStation 5s we have sold so far this year, we can use the sum if function for this. And let's build it up like so first. So there, there, there's a couple of ways we can do this, but I'll start off with the first way. We're going to type in equals sum if, and we're going to open our bracket. Now, this now shows us what we need to enter in there. So sum if, we have our range, the criteria, and the sum range. Now, it's very important that we get these ranges correct to get the correct answers and values that we're looking for. So the range for the PlayStation 5 that we need to look up, it's going to be in the items. So we don't highlight the names. We need to look up what it's going to be cross-referencing for the criteria. So we're going to put in there the item. We're going to highlight the range. The criteria is going to be the PlayStation 5. Now, when we're building this formula function, after we've typed in the range or highlighted the range, we're going to put in a comma. When we do that, you'll see the criteria light up. Now it's highlighted in bold. You'll see that we now need to put in the criteria and it's going to be PS5. It has to be spelled exactly correct. You can't put in PlayStation 5. It does not know that PS5 is PlayStation 5. So you have to type in exactly what you're looking for here in the text. And we're going to put in there into uh, double quotations. And next, we're going to put in a comma, and you will see the sum range hi highlights next. Okay, so we've got the sum range, which is lit up like so. And what we can do here for the sum range is now select the quantity cell. And what's that going to do is it's going to take the first range, which is the range that we selected. It's going to put this criteria, which is PS5. It's going to look for PS5 in here. And then it's going to give us the output, which is going to be calculating all of those that match this criteria of PS5. So let's close that and hit enter. And we can see there are 336 total cells of the PS5. Now I did mention there's a couple of ways. Let's have a look at another way uh, of doing this one. Because we've got the console in here, let's build it up from the beginning. We've got equal to sum if, we're gonna go for the range again. I'm gonna select the range the criteria, but this time, instead of putting PS5 in double quotations, I'm going to click on PS5. So I click on the PS5, comma, exactly the same. I'm going to highlight the sum range, which is what it's looking for. So in this instance, we're looking up the item, column C. We're looking up the criteria, which is in F6, which is the PS5, and the range for the sum is going to be in D. So we're looking at the quantity sold. So it's going to scan through these items, looking for the criteria. As soon as it says PS5, it's going to add 51 to our sum. Then it continues down. It's going to add 26 until it's reached the bottom of the table selected. Okay, I'm going to press enter. And now we have 336 by using this way as well. Okay, another way what we could do to make it easier uh, is using the absolute cell reference uh, where we're going to lock in a particular range. And what it allows us to do is to autofill to make it easier for us the rest of these. Now, the absolute cell reference, what we're going to do is we're going to lock in the range, which is the C4. Uh, what I'll do is I'll type this in manually. We'll put it in the first cell PS4. So, equals sum if. The range, so we're going to go with the range. But this time, we're going to highlight the range and press F4 on the keyboard. And what that'll do is it'll add an absolute cell reference, which will allow us to auto fill down. The criteria 
is going to be in cell F5. We should always use a cell reference where there's one available. And the sum range is going to be in D20, uh, sorry, D4 to D20. And again, that also needs to be in an absolute cell reference. So we're gonna highlight that and we're gonna plot the this range as an absolute cell reference. Now, what we're effectively doing is we're using ab the absolute cell reference to freeze in those cells so we can auto fill down. So as we auto fill, we got C4 to C20. As we auto fill down, it won't move the table down uh, for the calculations. F5, we don't use the absolute cell reference for that because we want it to go to F6, F7, and F8. And we also have the range on the right for the calculating the sum. Right, so now let's hit enter and see what we've got. We've got 272. I'm going to use the autofill option. I'm going to drag it down. If you're not too sure where that is, the bottom right hand corner of that cell, you can see there's sort of a green dot. We're going to move to that green dot and drag down like so. And what that allows us to do now is if we have a look, we can see it's looking for F8, which is the Xbox, and also using the same range which is why we have to pot the absolute cell reference. If you're not sure about absolute cell references, have a look at the videos. We've got one of those as well. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.